This XFL preview edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by, you guessed it, MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is your home for the Super Bowl. Use the promo code SGP and get up to $1,000 in bonus bets. MyBookie.ag, promo code SGP to play, win, and get paid over at MyBookie. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in paperhead providers, and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Prop Swap. Prop Swap is America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Go to PropSwap.com to find better odds on your local sportsbook. Plus, when you use that promo code SGP, you get a 100% deposit bonus up to $100. That's PropSwap.com, promo code SGP. Finally, we're also brought to you by Simply Safe, the leader in home security. Go to simplysafe.com slash SGP today to get free shipping on your order plus a 60 day money back guarantee. That's simplysafe.com slash SGP to save on home security today. S I M P L I safe.com slash S G P. Welcome, everyone, to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks. Ryan, real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer dog? Oh, I was gonna scold Colby. You gotta pay attention when Daddy talks. No looking at your phone, bro. We got video right here. You gotta look at the audience. We gotta look at the clients. <laughs> I apologize. Bring on Colby. It was very creepy when you said Daddy. And yeah, joining well, us, I, I didn't even know how to answer that one. I'm like, well, what the wait. fuck did I just walk into? Colby Dant, aka the Danta Base. Interesting uh, fact right here, transitioning from the daddy line, Aaron Hernandez. It's in the, uh, if you've seen the documentary on Netflix, very good. If you haven't uh, listened to the podcast, I think even a little better, they go super deep gladiator as much as it pains me to plug other podcasts. Definitely (laughs) check that out. And apparently one of the things he would do at Patriots practice, he creeped out a lot of people. Wes Welker, right? Yeah. Yeah, Wes Welker. Just in general, he weirded people out, was like very aggressive about watching uh, pornography in front of other people. <laughs> Again, he had a uh, uh, kind of a sorted a past. They get into it in the doc and the podcast. But one of the things he would do uh, that got him kicked out of practice was he would call Belichick daddy. Yeah. And he and Belichick was like, stop doing that. Get the hell out of here. And he goes, yes, daddy. <laughs> Oh my God! Can you imagine? That's like the one thing that would rattle Belichick. You going, yes, Daddy. <laughs> Shut up. Eighty-one, get out of here. We're on to Cincinnati. That's hilarious. Okay, Daddy. It's a lot like, of geez. textbook psychological issues over there in the Aaron Hernandez camp. Is the documentary any more enlightening than the podcast? Uh, it's. T- I mean, the do- the podcast reveals a lot of stuff. He was uh, having- cuz I've listened to the podcast I haven't watched the Netflix thing so Same same with me. It's it's worth watching the Netflix documentary even if you've listened to the podcast. If you could only do one or the other, I would I would probably go podcast. They go a little deeper. And uh, the one thing that is hilarious in the Netflix documentary is you visually see him walking around with the gun that was killed that was used to kill Odin Lloyd in his home security. Yeah. So he smashed his cameras, but didn't delete the footage of him <laughs> hanging out, walking around with the gun. They have video of his uh, fiance or whatever throwing out the gun safe, like in a plastic bag. Yeah. Very obviously, clearly a not a smart man. I mean, I that, I mean, smart but not smart. No, but know? he he. What's really confounding. Or confusing. He deleted some videos from the but not everything, but not the stuff of him walking around with the gun. Insane, insane storyline, and a lot of, uh, of course, uh, you know, bullshit CTE uh, stuff that they try to. Oh, yeah. it's because he, he got it hit in the head once. You know who's got hit in, in the head a lot? Rob Gronkowski. You know who also played tight end for the New England Patriots? Rob Gronkowski. You know who also Ben Coates. Yeah, a Ben lot. Coates, yeah. Benjamin Watson, none yeah. of these people. Yeah. But Sean, he was gay before he got hit in the head. What do you mean? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, again, he was closeted uh, homosexual, and they kind of almost make that part of it. He, in my uh, mind, Aaron Hernandez is just a psychopath. Yeah, and I, and if I, anything caused he it, was it was a gang his, when he was like in like eighth grade. No, he was never in a gang. He was a guy who like pretended he was in yeah. gangs, but. Actual gang people were like, no, nah, fuck that guy. He wasn't a gang. He was abused by his dad, yeah. and his dad was super violent in front of people. So if you have shit beat out of him? 
Yeah, if you have violent parents, you could end up becoming violent. No. Think of this breaking news. Nurture nature over nurture, Sean. Nurture over nature. One of those. Well, there's a, there's probably some of it is <laughs> in his nature, but I, again, so uh, check that podcast out. But the daddy thing just was uh, really. <laughs> to be clear, Aaron <laughs> really Hernandez n- not a good guy. No, not a good guy. But I, but I will say it was a little annoying hearing that dude with the wicked strong Boston accent, kind of like it's cro- a baby fucking wheel, man. <laughs> crowbarring in that that. Uh, that CTE stuff at the uh, end. Yeah, yeah. They and really, they really try and to bury football. Yeah, connect it to a lot of different things in his life. And I, I get it; it's a documentary. You're trying to unravel this mysterious guy and why did he become yeah. a, a murdering sociopath? Okay, I, I get it. But really, but George Foreman hasn't murdered one motherfucker. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. He got punched in the head for like 40 years. He was like 62 years old, still boxing. The craziest part to me of the Aaron Hernandez podcast was. All the people that went and supported him at his trial, like these deranged Patriots fans that were just, he had only been in the league three years. Yeah. He just got it onto a second contract. If Tom Brady was accused of murder, I get supporting him. <clears throat> but there was a guy at Aaron Hernandez's trial in a Randy Moss jersey. Dude, if you're going to support Aaron <laughs> Hernandez, wear his jersey. Yeah, why are you bringing They were giving them away for free. You could <laughs> you could turn in the Aaron Hernandez jersey and he got a different jersey. Maybe he did that and ended up with Randy Moss, but you know, kind of hedged his bets I, there. Yeah, why why are you Come on. Don't drag Randy. Randy's already had some bad luck with that kind of shit. That is a disgusting <laughs> act. <laughs> Which by the way, uh, local radio station Jack FM cracked a joke about Joe Buck. So I, I had a glorious moment this morning when I heard it. I was like, "Oh, that's beautiful." Everyone hates Joe Buck. Yeah, everyone it's... hates Joe Buck. He's going to be calling the big game, aka the Super Bowl. We're the only podcast that's not afraid to say the Super Bowl. And you're home for betting the Super Bowl. MyBookie.ag. Use that promo code SGP. They got their the props are already trickling in over at mybookie.ag. The novelty props, Gatorade color already up. All that stuff is available over at mybookie.ag. And get those bonus bets. You're gonna be laying down a ton of action on the big game, aka definitely the Super Bowl. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come after me, NFL. I'm sup- I'm turning a blind eye to concussions. You can turn a blind eye to us calling it the Super Bowl, because that's what it is. The greatest football game of all time for the greatest sport of all time, football. Head over to mybookie.ag to play, win, and get paid. Use that promo code SGP for up to $1,000 in a deposit bonus. Wow. So fun read. Up. I'm already I'm already getting so some of that juiced yeah. up. I'm already getting some of that Super Bowl juice flowing. I watched Rudy last night, guys. Really? Mm. Yep. Yep. Which one? One or two? Uh, they made a sequel to the KFC movie? one. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> knowing Hollywood, I was like, maybe they did a Tony Danza mm. spinoff or something, right? Yeah. Well, all right. What's up? What's up? What are we talking about? Well, I just we're on the clock, yeah. guys. Let's go. Just mentioned the Super Bowl, and of course, if you're running the squares contest at your Super Bowl party, make sure you head over <laughs> to sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Find the printable Super Bowl squares. But more importantly, enter our $1,000 contest for the listeners, giving out some Super Bowl squares uh, for you guys, the listeners. Free cash. You're welcome. All we ask is take a uh, screenshot of your five-star review, send it into contest at sportsgamblingpodcast.com, contest at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. And we're also running, uh, in honor of the uh, NBA Odds Pod launch party podcast, which we just recorded last night. Got super liquored up. Had a lot of fun with site editor Ryan McKee. We're doing a fraud contest. And again, you're picking some of the worst teams you think uh, for the rest of the NBA season. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Again, another $1,000 in prizes up for grabs all over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. When is the deadline for that, Sean? Uh, All-star break. You got to get it in. Are my kids eligible for entry? Hmm. That's a great question. Try, trying right? to get a couple entries in the contest. Yeah. <laughs> if they give a five star review, um, certainly, certainly, uh, I would definitely uh, say. It's a good point. One of them, out. one of them, just got a a brand new iCloud account. You know what that means? 
No, what, what is that? Another mean? device to subscribe, rate, and review. So <laughs> I'll leave by example. Get your kids' devices. Yes, rate, review, exactly. subscribe. The college experience has a brand new feed. We're out there. Did we even get some like nice announcement music? Nothing. I know. Nothing. Man. Just nothing, right? All Dude. right, here's your chance, Colby. You're on the mic. Sell people on subscribing to the college experience. All it's right, its own feed. Yes, exactly. What are you doing right now? It's college basketball season, all right? And college football season just ended. But we talk college football year-round. We talk college basketball year-round. We talk XFL because Vince McMahon is an East Carolina alum, all right? We cover everything, really. But basic, basically college. So do yourself a favor. <laughs> Go over there, subscribe. Type in the college experience on any platform for podcasts. And sit back, crack a cold one, and enjoy some fucking laughs and some good handicapping. And mostly positive reviews. <laughs> mostly. Yes, yes. Mostly. Every once in a while, a negative review. What I want to know is the person who was listening to your show got offended by you uh, saying, saying uh, the- allegedly de- derogatory things about someone. And, uh, Kavanaugh. Took the took the time to run over to I, iTunes. I was just shocked that the Kavanaugh trial was covered in the college experience. <laughs> I really did. Well, what are you talking about? We're talking about his college experience. Okay, right? I, I, I guess that's the <laughs> way. Oh, there we go. Okay, the perfect way uh, you can connect it. Kramer, we're doing these five star reviews for the Super Bowl squares, and stumbled upon. And there's there's some good ones. Actually, one uh, kind of was. Uh, Bustin Colby's chops. You'll have to dig through the feed there to uh, check that one out. But this one, <laughs> it's by Unbelievable, and oh. I, and I'm not doing that as an accent. I, th- <laughs> it's just a very weird spelling. The uh, the title of the review is "Passed Out." Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is one of the crazier ones we've got. Wait, this is college experience or no, or, no? Oh, this okay, because is... passed out would make sense a little bit. Yeah, that would uh, hashtag DGens only. But listen <laughs> to this review. Last week, while running at 5.30 a.m. and listening to SGP on my phone, I passed out just short of my house. (laughs) It may have been fumes from the portable toilet I'd visited five minutes before. (laughs) As I laid on the ground, I heard voices talking tight ends. I was quite confused, but soon opened my eyes, and while not sure why I was laying there, recognized the comforting voice of the guy. (laughs) Thanks for the great work and know that you can bring a 64 Whoa. year old out of a near coma. We're saving lives over here. I had no idea. I, I mean, didn't know we reached oh that God. demographic. I'm not one to brag, but I have been told I have a nice voice. Well, my dad is uh, in his 60s and he would not know how to leave a five star review yeah. on the podcast. <laughs> my, dad, my dad wouldn't either. Yeah, that's that is pretty impressive. It and had, the running you're running at 530 a.m. You you're listening to a podcast and you're leaving a five star. Chances rate. that this guy was had too much soy. Mm, why? So wh- why? What? I don't see how that's relevant. <laughs> Where I get my protein from is not any of your no, business. Maybe Colby. he listened to you and he started that diet and that's why he passed out. No, he needs, I guess, some, I'm, he needs I'm, some meat in his life. I'm guessing he's just a maniac who likes likes to run and gets that rush and just you know a little too many couple couple too many endorphins at five thirty a.m. <laughs> I'll put you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a uh, we got a lot to cover. We're going to be previewing the XFL. Get Colby's take on the uh, Kansas Kansas State fight. <laughs> Got some Mike Leach news. News. It's all coming up. But before we get to that, quick shout out to Ace per head. Ace is the leader in paperhead providers. Ever think of starting your own sports book? How about you start it right before the Super Bowl prime time? Ace. They got all the uh, latest lines, all those crazy Super Bowl bets that you can only get on paperhead sites. You can get them through aceperhead.com slash SGP, aceperhead.com slash SGP. Instead of being at a Super Bowl party and they're like, who do you, uh, can you put a bet in for me? Why not just become the sports book? And then they can just pay you directly. 2020, it's the year you become a small business owner, baby. If you go to aceperhead.com slash SGP, you can get up to six weeks free. Again, live betting, an amazing mobile experiences. Some of the sharpest lines in the business. They take care of you over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. Sean, I'm, so I was I was looking at the reviews while you were reading that one. And I, I right next to the one labeled passed out is... <laughs> 
Uh, don't be a chowderhead. Mm. So who, whatever <laughs> Apple does to validate these, <laughs> apparently chowderhead not a derogatory term. No, it's not. Okay. It's not made it on the uh, Apple's list of slurs. <laughs> oh. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. <laughs> Again, please keep it clean because I've seen some of the screenshots that the guys send in, and then I go, "No way, that's actually making it through." And uh, it, it really, uh, a lot of those uh, never make it through. Colby, huge fight, Kansas, Kansas State. Oh, um, looks like the uh, the guy who picked up the what was his name? The guy who actually picked up the bench was about to beat someone it, over. It was a chair. It was not a oh, bench. Okay, sorry, he didn't. He didn't make contact. You sound like me defending right. Gritty, who is also. This is day two of hashtag free Gritty. His name still has not been cleared, and uh, hashtag justice for Gritty. Again, he's he's. Uh, uh, any, any word on if the the kid that's suing Gritty has gotten out of the locker yet? Dude, it, it, I mean, it is just an embarrassing part like, of society when we got people suing mascots, for Christ's sake. Well, yeah, as a father, what are you teaching your son? So-called uh, Flyers fan. All right, so what's your take on the KU fight? I, I, It got chippy. It got out of c control. It, uh, there was some punching. The, when they're stopping the guy on the floor, that's when it gets a little scary. No, <laughs> uh, not at all. Yeah. Uh, I think it's absolutely great for college basketball. And uh, mm. so I thought Sylvia De Souza. I thought that that his uh, suspension was a little ridiculous. Twelve games? Come on! If he if he used the chair and it actually struck some people, then maybe I'd agree with that. But come on, this is this is fantastic for college basketball. Why? You know why, Kramer? Because they're gonna have to play in Manhattan, Kansas, in a couple weeks, and and, and then they might play again in Kansas City in the Big Twelve champ or uh, conference tournament. These games are now must watch the, TV. This isn't the WWE, Colby. Yeah, I know that chair these is are, real. That was a real chair. These are student athletes. These are amateurs. Buddy, there is no you're place. You're wearing a Yale t-shirt no today. That's what it is, man. <laughs> I thought. Oh, I. I Private thought it was school pussy over here. I thought it was one of those uh, Beyonce ones that I got for my wife that mm. says kale. Oh, uh, nice. it's a little parody. <laughs> I just assumed. I didn't know. I. I really thought that's what uh, it was. Yeah, it's more of a rugby shirt, a little bit supporting private school pussies, but yeah, private yeah. school pussies who play rugby. So it's anyway. This was great. There was also a fight. The same. This was on my birthday, so it was like a perfect. It was like a perfect birthday gift. Happy birthday, Colby! No, th thank you. I mean, it was a couple days ago, but I mean, thank you. Uh, Did you get our present? I'm kidding. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, what kind of guys? Uh, wow, Sean's just being mean. Saint huh? Francis. Oh, come on. When did? When did wow. Kobe? I was going to say St. Francis and Sacred Heart also got into a fight. That was pretty big. So that we had two college basketball fights mm. on my birthday. But this is good for the sport. Nothing. Look, the best NBA matchups, Knicks Heat, Knicks Pacers, Pistons Bulls, Knicks Bulls, it's because they hated each other. You're, yeah. When you watch these games, they're going to get better. I remember a couple years ago, I think it was the, uh, the uh, Oakland A's and the Kansas City Royals that got into a bunch of fights in one year. So I purposely went out of my way to watch those baseball games because I don't watch a lot of baseball, Kramer. I, I get it. Fights are compelling, uh, and it's good you're right. For it's good for college basketball. I mean, it. But the suspensions highlight the the, the softness of society. Yeah, and those the announcers, those announcers are like, "This is horrible." I'm like, "No, it's not. It's fantastic. It's I mean, absolutely fucking fantastic." I, I'm telling you this. Yeah. I'll explain this. Uh, the, at, at the kids' school, they don't let them change the rules of a game because it's going to cause more conflict. They don't let them stomp uh, the other players <laughs> when they're down on the ground. No, the guy no, in the street no. clothes was great. <laughs> I'm a fan of him. I, Plus, like uh, sometimes, someone, someone sometimes a, motherfuckers got to fight. You know, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's it. Look, let's be honest. We are all watching basketball to be entertained, but we all watch sports to be entertained. And wh why do we watch boxing? Why do we watch all this? We want to see w when when baseball has a fight. I I bet you it's probably one of the the, the first things Sports Center talks about, right? And and because everyone they're not banging trash cans, and everyone <laughs> gets excited to go. Oh my God! You see that the A's and the Royals got in a big brawl. Oh my right? God. Dude, you're really pushing your baseball agenda. I'm just saying, <laughs> this was great for the world, man. Yeah. I hate these announcers' takes and these. Ah, oh, there's no place in sports for this. Bah! Listen, Shut up. Of course, <laughs> you know that, what I mean. If you work for one of those mainstream media companies, lamestream. That's of course yeah. you're gonna. Your take is obviously gonna be more to suppress the athlete, more to suppress the expression of a young amateur athlete. Amateur athlete. He got paid. DeSouza got paid. He talked so, about 
They just said, no, fuck I, it. I don't know. Yeah, we, he we went to, spent way too much he time. He went though. to Kansas. Yeah. He clearly is getting paid. <laughs> Wait, you think Bill Self pays, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Heading over to college football, our boy uh, Mike Leach, and of course his clip mm. uh, describe, breaking down the SEC mascots, that thing popping off the viral charts. Already up to uh, almost sixty thousand views. Sounds like a disease. Over on the, uh, <laughs> yeah, over on the YouTube, a lot oh, of fun. Wow. What do you think? I, I know you were tweeting recently, Colby, about uh, Mike Leach, who we brought in DC. What do you think of the staff he's assembled so far? Love it. I mean, uh, he kept a guy on that new Mississippi high school recruiting very well, uh, and then bringing in a defensive coordinator. That has ties to Rocky Long and our gals in San Diego State. Uh oh. They do the three. The Rocky Long is the innovator three, three, in the five. Three, uh, three three five, and also very aggressive with the three three five. Not yeah. not like a lot of people that run the three three five. Um, one so, of one of the people who influenced Bud Foster a lot. It put 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 the corners on the island. Be very aggressive with yep. blitzing. Uh, it. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving what we got going in Starkville. So you mean hashtag Stark Vegas? Stark yep. Vegas, baby. Well, you, are you guys ready to go or what? You getting ready? Uh, yeah. If we get an invite, I you notice you're back eating meat. So I, I, I'm assuming you're getting ready for Starkville. <laughs> uh, I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Okay. Let's go. What? We'll what? Eat, we'll eat gator. I assume they got gator in Mississippi. <laughs> they got chicken it. on a stick. <laughs> we got to get some chicken. I on saw stick. Leach tweeted out any uh, restaurant recommendations. Yeah. <laughs> so I figure we just follow. He that. also. <laughs> He also <laughs> tweeted out, uh, there's some new uh, Bigfoot news. There's a, <laughs> there was a sighting. He goes, obviously Bigfoot. So it's something that's like, obvious, obviously Bigfoot doesn't exist. But uh, let, may, please, maybe just let it be true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple, uh, couple interesting games here. I, Colby, if you had your druthers, which mm. of, the, uh, of the Mississippi State home games would you like to attend? Where's the Egg Bowl this year? Uh, let's see. That's on Thanksgiving, though. Mm. Yeah, I'm. I'm that's, Aren't you like that's hiking well, in like that's fucking wilderness time for Vancouver me. Island I'm or out. something? Right? I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it's actually at Ole Miss this year. They got to. Uh, we got to do mid November. Whatever. Like, no, give, give I, me some. I, is that Alabama A and M? We got to do 21st. Halloween, dude. Yeah, we got to do Auburn at home. No, I'm not, Halloween. No. Night. Halloween, and you're dressing like a pirate, dude. Ryan still has right? his Halloween decorations uh, up. That's yeah. the <laughs> Ryan, all right, that, we're, pull we're, pulling, we're pulling back the curtain too far. We, your, your let's kids? move on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too close to home, Colby. Oh well, if anything else is left out too long, th there's probably going to be issue with it. But uh, this fucking ridiculous full size mannequin that's been in my front door, the, for, for some reason, that's totally not seasonally appropriate any, anymore. But it's still there. It. So, it but, I God forbid for I leave my shoes. <laughs> Four uh -oh. inches from That's Ryan's gonna get in the doghouse right before the Super <laughs> yeah. Bowl party. Can't do that. Uh, it doesn't matter. We got a taco guy coming. It's gonna be glorious. Buddy, I can see you as a pirate. You know what I mean? Yeah, we all. If we go, I mean, if we go there for Halloween, we can all dress up like pirates, right? Or me and Sean be will awesome. be pirates, and you can be like a, a coleslaw sandwich or something. <laughs> uh. So me and Sean will wear costumes, and you'll just be Colby. <laughs> You saying? Oh, man. I, I to, oh you, wow! Yeah. You saying I have earrings and a fucking? I'm saying shit? Nick Velvet does. You know, oh, Nick, Velvet baby! You never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. I know what I'm gonna get over at PropSwap.com, and that's some of the best prices available for sports bets. Any price you're getting at your local sportsbook, you can probably find a better ticket over at PropSwap.com. This week, a Casey. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl ticket with a collect amount of twenty eight hundred sold on Prop Swap for fifteen hundred dollars. That's odds of minus one fifteen for the buyer. Better money line odds than any sportsbook in the country. Minus one fifteen, tough to come by. And if you head over to PropSwap.com, use that promo code SGP for up to one hundred percent deposit bonus, up to one hundred dollars. It's not a deposit. It's not like a rollover thing. You have a hundred dollars. You want to buy a two hundred dollars sports ticket. And again, it's a lot of states that are included in this. Go to PropSwap.com for details. Void where prohibited. But we're going to hook you up with a Lock Dog Tease t-shirt. Send in that screenshot to podcast at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. PropSwap.com. Promo code SGP. Kramer, I can't believe we were talking about the, the draft in Las Vegas. And I can't believe you weren't. I hadn't heard the news. It's in Las Vegas, the Bellagio. They built a yeah. stage in the Bellagio just a matter of time until 
Goodell falls in the water. One of the players <laughs> falls in the water. Yeah, it's it's a, it's. I mean, how did you? Where where you been? The uh, Eli Manning news really hit you, huh? Well, <laughs> huh? Lot lot of lot shit, lot of ins, lot of outs. Cold tying Lots two things together. On. Joe Burrow has announced that he is. Uh, well, someone in his family said that he is quote not going to pull an Eli Manning, and that if the Bengals draft him, he will play for the Cincinnati Bengals. Class uh, act, like, like Joe a real Burrow. like a real winner. Class he's, act. He's not going to go on to win su- two Super Bowl MVP trophies. Fucking loser. Oh come on! I wouldn't draft that guy. <laughs> Clear Hall of Famer. Clear Hall of Famer. Who? Eli Manning. Oh my God! Stop it. Stop it! Right? Uh, he is. Uh, is Mark Sanchez getting in? Un- unfortunately, Mark I mean, he Sanchez has the same, does not have. Two. He has the same number of Super Bowls as John Elway, so he's right up there. <laughs> wow, this now. is strange. Elway went to five Sean, Super Bowls. Sean somehow, five Super Bowls. Somehow taking to five Eli's Super defense. Bowls. <laughs> no, it, John Elway is obviously much better than Eli Manning. Well, the real travesty is that the Giants <laughs> they allowed Eli Manning to play one extra game against the fucking Miami Dolphins, <laughs> who so fucking could, blew his losing I record. Know. The Eagles sent him off as a loser, and then the New York Giants are like, we need one more week. Yep. Um, <laughs> pretend you have a high ankle sprain for the rest of the week so we can get Eli, and then he's miraculously his ankle's all better for the following week. Nonsense. Uh, nonsense. You know, it's Ryan, good. you got to be a little embarrassed about that, right? Embarrassed about what? The uh, point is to win the trophy. He oh won the trophy god. twice. Oh god. He won the trophy twice. Uh, no one's ever going to argue that Eli was the greatest quarterback during his era. Well, that's why he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. You should be a top three, four but, quarterback in your era. But he to be led Hall of his fame. team to win two championships. Is Phil Simms in which, the Super Bowl? Which Are we in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> he did not lead his team to win two Super yeah, Bowls. Yeah, he did. He did not. Jeff Hosted led. No, Jeff Hosted played in the playoffs. Sims did the whole regular season. Oh, so Carson Wentz won a Super Bowl yes, ring with the I've Philadelphia Yes, I've said that Eagles. for a long time. Uh, he got a ring. He was on the team, but he did not win the game that won them the championship. So, Eli did that twice. If you want to argue that he's a fringe Hall of Famer, sure, yeah. I agree with you. Oh, but okay. being two, a two-time Super Bowl MVP ends up being the tiebreaker, and that's the so reality. So, if Larry Foles wins another uh, Super Bowl MVP, he's automatically in. Wasn't cornerback Larry Brown a Super Bowl MVP? I would say Eli's career slightly more decorated Wasn't than Wasn't Timmy Nick Foles. Smith a How Super so? Bowl MVP? Just any metric that you measure a quarterback by. Wins, losses, interceptions to touchdowns. What... Uh, like any counting stats for sure. I mean, when you play less games, it's easier to have better ratios. I'm not sitting here trying to defend Eli. I'm just pointing out that he's in the top 10 in a lot of counting metrics and he has two <laughs> Super Bowl fucking MVPs and he beat the greatest team in the history of the NFL. They're not that no. great if they no. lost to the Giants. Yeah. And they oh, were stop. Good. Really? You're going to talk. You're, you're going to shit on Randy Moss's season that year, too. I'll like, shit on the whole Patriots. Oh Are you kidding goodness. me? Here we go. <laughs> They've been cheating. They were cheating that wheel, year. Man. Welcome to the XFL. All right. Before we move on to the XFL, we have to while just, we're talking pull, about the Giants, I pulled the ripcord there. We're, we're, we're out now. There's still one more thing, and that's the debut <laughs> of a new sound drop. Anytime Jason Garrett's name it previously was this. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. But now we needed to update him, so enjoy Jason Garrett the Clapper. Clap on, clap off. The Clapper. <laughs> uh, oh man, that uh, is uh, that also just in can, can look I that make, up on YouTube and enjoy. Can I make a proposal? Sure. Uh, I think we know why Freddie Kitchens was hired. Someone's got to go and get their fucking shine box. <laughs> go home and get your fucking shine box. <laughs> Jason Garrick knows the key to a good team is fucking nice shine shoes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's All move right. On. Are we going to talk about the XF? Yeah. Can we start just by getting Colby's opinion on the LA team name? We went through all the team names yesterday. Okay. Very clearly. I'll go through them again. The Dallas Renegades. That's a cool name. New York Guardians. Tampa Bay Vipers, Houston Roughnecks, DC Defenders, St. Louis Battlehawks, Seattle Dragons, L- Los Angeles Wildcats. The fuck is that? I don't hate it as much as you, but I will say their names are much worse than the AAF's names. The AAF was dope. That's what I'm saying. These- what, were, what was that Arizona team? The Hot Shots? Yeah. Those was great. Birmingham uh, Iron. The Apollos. The San Antonio Commanders? Yeah. Why, why can't they be the Los Angeles Commanders? <sighs> 
I don't. I mean, I, the Wildcats is like just so generic that I guess it's yeah. it's clearly the worst name of the group. No, 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 no. Who, wow. Well, Guardians, Fucking Dragons. Name. That's awesome. Oh, Dragons. They're That's Seattle. Terrible. They're Seattle. What does that have to do with Dragons? <laughs> they got Dragons up there. Bro. What does that <laughs> have to do? With, like other other cities are better fit for Dragons. Well, uh, yeah, They're made no, up. No thing. one should be. That's why it's the worst name. What's a Battle, battle Hawk is horrible too. What? It sounds Colby. like I'm watching a TV show. Colby. Battlehawks great. It reminds Colby. me of uh, the, the Vipers is horrible. All oh, these are horrible. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, is Roughnecks, Roughnecks is pretty Roughnecks badass. Is, is good and same well, with the Renegades. I'm, I'm I'm a little concerned on your take here. Why? Are you angry about these names because they're not representative of the the geo the region uh, and location? I, I am angry because like you have you have uh, oh, Vince dude, McMahon and can't. and like you could have just you could have just gone all in. But instead, you, you 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 probably went and said, "What's the least offensive? What can we do here? Let's call this this thing." Dude, you're right? allergic to liking stuff. <laughs> I like this. I'm excited about spring I, I football. I know, but these I'm names excited are, about spring football. These, no, these names are so fucking the Tampa Bay Vipers. That's yes, fucking horrible. Please, yes, please. That's horrible. All right, Sean, what are we talking about? Col- Colby's wrong twice now. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to. Talk about the odds to win the 2000 uh, 2020 XFL championship. Hopefully, unlike the AAF, this league doesn't fold uh, before it, the, it will make it through. He's got five hundred million dollars. Well, right, but also he doesn't. <laughs> uh, if he starts losing money, ha- Vince McMahon seems like a guy he doesn't put up with losing money for very long. No, but this one would definitely make it. Th- like the before, if you, especially if you read the backstory. Is this on Fox? This is on Fox, ESPN, ABC. They have a good TV deal too, much okay. much better than the AAFs. It's CBS it, Sports. Before we uh, break down the odds, couple uh, couple new rule changes for the XFL. Mm, let's go over that. Point after touchdown. This one's interesting. Uh, it, it depends on where you want to spot the ball. What the uh, point after touchdown is worth. It's great. A two yard attempt after a touchdown worth one point. A five yard attempt after the touchdown worth two points. A ten yard attempt would be worth three points. As a guy who was just going to blindly hit the XFL unders again under the same logic <laughs> of the AF. Like, yeah, these guys all yeah, suck. Yeah. They're all out of shape. They don't know how to run an offense. They don't have a real training camp. The defense is always ahead of the yeah. offense early. I'm still going to lean unders, but these three point lean? plays are, are a little, uh, I mean, hammered. I'm curious to see how this thing works Sh- out. But once again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm uh, Sean, is the escalade drop still on there? Yes, it is. Right. I'm of the opinion. Like, they could. They should have just stuck to playing football. That's what the Brinks truck sounds like. <laughs> that we're backing up. Backing up these the XFL un- un- unders. Do we have any lines yet? I don't think the lines are out yet. Oh wait a second. Maybe there's some game lines. I have the championship odds. Yeah, that's what I got too. We'll save that uh, for the uh, save that for a little bit here. But um, yeah, I, I, it seems like the under is still going to be the play. At least just how it makes sense. They're going to do a couple things to speed up the time. Only two timeouts per half. Uh, replay reviews. They're only going to be sixty seconds. Maybe that speeds it up. OT. This is a uh, fun take on overtime. In the same way in soccer and NHL, where they do a shootout to I, decide. I think I like this. Yeah, yeah, I do too. And basically, you start at the opponent's or yeah, the opponent's five yard line, and you have five one possession plays from the five yard line. Each time you get it in, it's worth two points. And it's like a dueling thing. If you get up like three, three to zero or six points, essentially, <laughs> then it's over if they can't come back. But I, I like that one play, yeah. one play. And then yeah. you're just swapping in and out with defense and offense. That's it's pretty exciting. Uh, That's like in college in that, you know, third yeah. overtime and and past where you have to go for two points. I like that rule change. Yeah. <laughs> rule change I don't like. They've really they've just cut the balls off uh punt and kick returns. Yep. You can't start running to cover the punt until the punt happens and then the kick returns are like this weird thing where the lines moved yeah, and you have I, to I'm wait. I'm still eager to see how this works out, but I I watched them like do it in practice. It looks it the, just looks lame. I, I yeah. You're supposed to be you call yourself the XFL? What yeah. is extreme about yeah. I mean, it's that not was, extreme. It's the XFL. <laughs> is doesn't the X stand yeah, for extreme? I thought no. Can we, I, can we Google does that? it? 
I liked I liked their original marketing uh, thing the, for the XFL where it's like we're the XFL we don't give a fuck oh the, 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 no the fair ball, catches the, yeah. Oh, yeah I love that they yeah please bring that back this is a this is a league much like the WWE has uh, turned a blind eye to uh, CTE and substance abuse they should just go all out no steroid testing I agree just let guys hit each other as hard I, well, as they I, can I think the hitting though go extreme I've heard some reports that the hitting is going to be going on just like the AAF so that's good oh my god that was my favorite clip from the oh. AAF R. Mike Bergavici getting blasted <laughs> dude that it's guy's fucking incredible that guy's head came off might have to throw that on the gram just to uh, just to honor. So McMahon wanted to call it the Extreme Football League. However, a now defunct Arena League had the rights to that name. He was once on record calling it the Extra Fun League, but the X stands for nothing. The X stands for nothing, huh? It's I just still, completely nothing. I still like that idea of putting the ball at midfield and having two guys run and, and battle for the football. Oh, yeah. That was fantastic. So, or the Oklahoma yeah. drill where yeah. you would just lay on your back, you pop <laughs> yeah. up, and then you just ram at each other full speed. Whoever gets farther, that's who gets the ball. They should do that. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, – what let's is it? Can we make football, I mean, let's just make go, football great again. Just go again. watch gay porn. I mean, let's, what let's, are you talking <laughs> about? Ryan, yeah. we're describing He's rugby. Mad Eli You're Manning. wearing a rugby shirt. We're describing He's so mad about the Eli Manning in stuff. In rugby. <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan's all fired up. 20 to 1, the league flops, if, if, for those wondering. So well, it's funny how in the futures, one of the future options is <laughs> f- league, <laughs> league collapses. Oh, that's they, awesome. Well, I don't think they had that for the AAF. So they want to they want to protect themselves yeah. this time. They had to pay out Orlando props probably. Yeah. Well, it was it was a big <coughs> point of contention what they were going to actually do. All right. We'll uh, give our picks here for the the XFL championship. Break down the rosters a little bit before we do that. Shout out to Simply Safe. You got some lead pipe locks. You got some cash from all your betting uh, winnings. Maybe your, maybe your ace per head business is taking off. You got a bunch of cash laying around. Time to call Simply Safe. That's you need some security. We here at the Sports Gambling Podcast, our studio, insured by Simply Safe. <laughs> Best part about it, uh, you don't need a drill. You don't need to run a bunch of wires. Easy to install sensors glass break motion detection they got it all and if you murder somebody delete all the tapes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> no if only simply safe was there for aaron hernandez <laughs> maybe he would be a free man but he's not he's locked up in a high security uh, facility which probably could be guarded by simply safe that's how that's i mean you know fortune 500 companies like uh, maximum detention facilities they use simply safe S I M P L I safe dot com slash S G P free shipping on your order. Sixty day money back guarantee. S I M P L I safe dot com slash S G P to save on home security today. Kramer, it's no joke. We are protected here in the S G P N studio by Simply Safe. One time I came over, I uh, got into your house. Simply Safe called you, and what happened? Uh, they they suggested that a small leprechaun was trolling around <laughs> my garage, and uh, yeah, I, I told them my safe word. We have a safe word. I can't oh. I can't share that with you, but we do have a safe word. Is it and, simply uh, safe? It's not simply. It safe. It should be yeah. promo code SGP. It, it's simply safe with two eyes. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, we have a safe word. I, I let them know the safe word. Everything was cool. Uh, so yeah, and that's the thing. Simply safe. They use real video evidence. Give up give the police an eyewitness account of the crime much like the eyewitnesses that put Aaron Hernandez behind bars and that means the police dispatch up to 350 percent faster than a normal normal burglar alarm simply safe.com slash s g p so the the detention facility that Aaron Hernandez is in he's, is not, in? he's not there now the, dar- you the dark that, right? lord right he's yeah down, he's down I was, there so, the dark I was like what is he talking about <laughs> you know you, you I know, know he died dead. right <laughs> <laughs> but he was he's probably in a prison uh, of, uh i don't know do they where cremate are you gonna go guys where are you gonna go with this? <laughs> going to a dark place well, I mean, dallas we, renegade you, you've seen south park right of he's course. got satan yeah. satan's dick in his ass <laughs> dallas renegades plus 300 don't like going chalk here new york guardians plus mm. 400 los angeles wildcats plus 500 tampa bay vipers plus 500 houston roughnecks plus 750 dc defenders plus 800 
St. Louis Battlehawks plus 900, Seattle Dragons plus 1,000. I mean, first off, I'm not going chalk here on these XFL championships. I'm not taking anything less than plus 500. I, I'm kind of leaning, uh, and, and this isn't just a home home field pick here, kind of leaning the uh, Wildcats at plus 500. And that LA, is... LA, huh? Well, that's just because if you look at the XFL fantasy rankings, Josh Johnson is uh, right now been given, been dubbed. Former he's going number one overall in a lot of fantasy drafts. Josh Johnson, he's playing for the Wildcats. He's the QB one. Uh, a couple other uh, quarterbacks you may have heard of: Cardali Jones. Yeah. Uh, he's playing for playing for DC. How do you pronounce it? Colby. <laughs> Colby looked at me like like I was Sean. like, is he fucking with me? Is he messing with me right now? <laughs> How am I mispronouncing it? Cardale Jones. Cardale Jones. A lot of Cardale people Jones. in fairness. He won a national championship. In, in, in no, Colby. I've heard his name a million times. In fairness, a lot of people do say Cardale I've heard people pronounce Jones. it Cardale. I mean they're wrong. Okay. Uh, NFL talent, right? Uh he was drafted by the Bills. No? NFL talent, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was on the uh, Chargers last year. East the stick, beat him out. Isn't this just a situation where you take a look at the coach and you figure out like, oh, Which, yeah, like, isn't it like I immediately I circled Houston. Me too. Because mm. you know why? Because I, I, June Jones led successful offenses with a, a and Hawaii the, team. And his offensive coordinator has ties to our boy, Mike one leach. And that it's is an how e mummy. It's an easy system to teach and be uh, quickly successful at. Offenses in general seem to be bad. Uh, I don't. I think that it's a very simple. I wish concept. they. I wish they had a better throwing quarterback because Connor well, Cook and Michigan State. You know, I, I know they have. Uh, uh, I like Connor. Philip Walker. Philip Walker. I, I, I like Is his mobility. Starter? I'm not sure who they're going to name here, but it's looking like Philip Walker, yeah. according to XFLNewsHub.com's. Fantasy player rankings. Yeah, which, uh, he is he is the leader in the clubhouse right now. Um, Landry Jones. That's an interesting name nah, uh, for scared. Dallas. He's scared. <laughs> he's I, scared. You watched that guy play. Like he was never. He, he wasn't ready. <laughs> he's uh, he's also dealing with the knee injury. Aaron Murray. I like Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. You know, Tampa's he's got. The, he's the quarterback for Tampa. Tampa's defensive coordinator is the reason. I mean, it's it's a guy by the name of Jerry Glanville. Yeah, I'm a huge mm. fan of having him in, involved with uh, spring football. <laughs> so uh, I, the the Vipers are on my on my watch list, mm. but I'm going to go Houston first. But 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 Tampa would be my Houston team. is seven to one as as well. That's yeah. what I was going to get. Seven fifty, I'm seeing. But yeah, I I like a little taste of Houston Roughnecks, the Wildcats, plus five hundred. But I I think I think of uh, of any uh, any offense is going to click early. It's going to be that, or it's going to be a team that's just able to like. Run the, the rock, ball, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's interesting because we can we can head over to the running backs. Christine Michael, right now RBO three according to overall fantasy rankings. He's uh he's in St. Louis. That guy felt. I mean, he was in Seattle not that long Talent ago. Talent was never yeah. the problem. Kind of in the mix there. Artis Payne. I mean, he was a beast at Auburn. Kind of never did anything with the Panthers. I mean, Lance Dunbar played played some with the Cowboys. Remember? Uh, if you want to look, uh, yeah, he was yeah. Uh, Matt Jones. That's an interesting yeah. one as well. Donnell Pumphrey. Oh, our gals on, on DC. Wow, our gals. <laughs> that is uh, that is sad times for the Eagles. They spent a fourth round pick on him. He's currently RB sixteen in the projected fantasy rankings of a of a team he with could still you know after this year, of a league with eight teams. Yeah, <laughs> he could still get signed. Kurt Warner, you know, played in the Arena League, played in the uh, World League. It's not over for him. Keep fighting. You know, so yeah, fight the good fight. Maybe needs a bag groceries for a while. But it be I, I mean, what is that English? I don't know. What are you talking about? Is Eli Manning in this league? I will say this: you gotta fade Kevin Gilbride. Ooh, <laughs> you gotta you gotta fade the New York team. Um, I wish Rex Ryan was uh, playing in this league too, so they could we could get a punch again on Gilbride. Well, I mean, I, we we should talk about this because one of my favorite coaches, maybe ever. Uh, to root against Jim Zorn. Oh uh, man, <laughs> who's he coaching? He's Seattle. Back. Yeah, he's the Seattle the Dragons. Coach. Yeah, uh, so he he ran a fake field goal with one blocker two times in a row. Still one of the greatest moments in NFL history. So they got a, they they, they got a, a delay a game, mm. and then they ran it again. So the cat was out of the bag. Oh man, please YouTube that. It's one of the greatest. Moments so in NFL uh, the other teams that I enjoy. 
that I would take a stab at because I think DC is that team that could potentially have a nice one two punch at running back. Oh yeah. Uh I think what's the what's the, Presley? Is that his name? They got Rashad Ross also who was a beast uh, on the hot shots last year. And yeah, they, he's he's considered the number one overall uh fantasy so receiver. The, the D C defenders D C defenders eight to one. Mm. Uh I also like Tampa, as you were pointing out earlier. I think they have another uh coaching situation Mark where, where I, I, I have a feeling it's gonna he's gonna have early success on offense and I think early again we saw it in the AF AAF the offenses were fucking horrible. Yeah. So yeah. I think if you can have any success scoring points early in this as this thing, uh, you're gonna have a shot. So and Pat Hamilton's in DC. Yeah, that's a, former Michigan. He's a coach. Um, he's a guy. What do you mean he's a guy? He's a, he's a good. He's coach. a human. He's good um, coach. No, I like I like Houston here, man. I think they should be the uh, look. It, you saw with Spurrier in Orlando in the AAF, the the passing offense was ready to go. Yeah, way ahead of a bunch of other teams. So I, I would expect Houston to to be. But don't you doesn't Tampa fit that same? I'm sure they do, but but Glanville's a defensive coordinator there, so uh, don't they have a, they have a better him. quarterback and Aaron Murray? They do, they do have a better like Aaron Murray's yeah. the one guy who who I look at the list and I'm like if if he could uh, if he could relive some of his his peak college years, he's exciting because Josh Johnson he was fuck, he backed up Eli Manning. How well, well there's also Philip Nelson, an East Carolina <laughs> guy. Yeah, but, Remember his behind the back pass in the AAF? Yeah, remember that. That's, oh. a, that's a legend right there. That that's AAF uh, history <laughs> right there. How many games did the AAF get in? Like six? <laughs> yeah, we covered them all. I, Dude, you know, what? I was loving I, that league. I'm, it I'm, was so fun. I, I was mean, loving it, that league. I, I I think the biggest thing the XFL up. is doing correct is the fact that they're starting it the week after the Super Bowl, and and I, I that's what the AAF did right. And I, I did it. Guys. AAF wasn't getting horrible ratings. It was the problem that their, their oh, money got frozen. Yeah, it, it, the business, it, poor business, poor yeah. business yeah. decisions. I uh, am back. <laughs> what it do, baby? I, I, That's spring football right there, baby. I just dropped. I just dropped a hundo on the uh, the roughnecks. Ooh. Nice, nice. Need a roughneck shirt. There we go. Uh, uh, Houston roughnecks. We got to start working the social media. I'm sure they don't have any. Uh, Real backing in the, Dude, in the media yet. Love seeing my guy Nelson Spruce on the L.A. Wildcats. Going to gonna have to cu- hit a couple games. I'm a little concerned about Houston having Andre Williams as their running back. <laughs> uh, runs like he's got concrete <laughs> boots on, but that's all right. He's RB05 according to the <laughs> yeah. uh, XFL fantasy oh, rankings. Yeah, he was a Colby, what happened to the listener of college football uh, oh, yeah. fantasy league? <sighs> oh, shit. I, <laughs> you know what? I got I to gotta follow through on that. I gotta follow through on that. I didn't even didn't think about that. You have like that. twenty-seven yeah. rounds. No, I know. I, I, <laughs> they they did a fantasy football no, no, draft until like six no, no. in the morning. We we stayed doing it. I mean, I think maybe the final two weeks I might have tinkered off. But I'm saying, uh, yeah, I gotta follow through with that. Somebody won that thing. Follow through, bro. I gotta get on that. I, 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 Let's dude, do that, it. That's see, that's that's. That's partying right there. Yeah, that's probably why you're getting these <laughs> these one star reviews. <laughs> I gotta follow through with All that. All right, what what else are we doing, Sean? What else are we doing? I'll yeah. tell you what. Colby, you were commenting uh, before the podcast how awesome I smelled. I was. So, yeah, you were. No, you weren't. But it's my wife, like Jameson. Yeah, I do smell like whiskey, and actually, that's a great point because over at Hawthorne. <laughs> dot c o h a w t h o r n e dot c o i've uh, been enjoying my custom cologne custom shampoo custom conditioner and they you do a little quiz right because i don't know what i want to smell like am i uh, you know i still have like some ck1 my mom bought me for christmas in like late 1998 uh i have no idea what i should smell like i is that still in your bedroom yeah, it's, I mean, you feel weird throwing it out, but I'm never going to wear it. Like or your it's... bedroom back home, I mean. Sitting yeah. on a, sitting on a windowsill. C- yeah, <laughs> some Old Spice. <laughs> Next to the crusty sock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to bet good, you got to smell good. If you're just like laying around, feel like trash, you want to go out? Again, being married, I already, already have a lady, but in a relationship, you got to pretend like you give a shit. <laughs> and what better way to pretend like you give a shit than to smell good? You don't want to go to the mall. Again, I'm not allowed back at Walgreens, so you need another option. I, I hate shopping. If anything you can do online, definitely do it. 
Um, is there a Randall Cunningham poster in that in that bedroom? Uh, I did have a. You know what? I, I have a Randall Cunningham magnet, like that one where he's like on the moon or something. Oh, that's, that's a great I got magnet drunk and I ordered it. I thought it was the poster, but it was just the magnet. I'm like, <laughs> how is this only $3? <laughs> that's great, man. It's that's almost great. as good of a deal as uh, Hawthorne, man. Again, oh. custom personalized products. You take a little quiz and I they ask you, what is your drink of choice? I, of course, uh, clicked whiskey. And I don't know the science behind it, but yeah, man, I like the smell of whiskey and I like the smell of this Hawthorne stuff. <laughs> H-A-W-T-O-R-N-E dot C-O. Use that promo code S-G-P. Get 10% off. That's Hawthorne dot C-O. Promo code S-G-P to get 10% off. They got to add seltzer to their list of drinks. <laughs> man, are you are, are you getting a kick out of this like Natty, natty Seltzer or and Bud, Bud Light, Light Seltzer? seltzer? What the hell's uh, going uh, on, guys? I, I, didn't I mean, I like to, the refreshing bubbly of a water, but I only do that to avoid soda. I'm not trying to. Mm. I'm not trying to drink that shit. Mm. People don't drink beer anymore. They drink fucking seltzer water. Uh, I was in Chicago and everyone was drinking White Claw. We're back. Yeah, to, well, that's why they're dude, They're trying to compete with White Claw. We're, we're back to fucking Zima. Like that's no, where we're going. Zima was different. I, I Zima. Oh. It was. We didn't understand that drinking all that sugar and shit was bad for you back then. But, but this is I love the, how Ryan's character on the show now is like nutrition yeah, expert. Yeah. Team doctor Ryan Kramer. Yeah. That was back before yeah. sugar was bad. Yeah. Takes a huge rip off the vape pen. Yeah. These yeah. people and their health. What's a, what's a vape pen? <laughs> uh, before we go, let's get our predictions for the Pro Bowl. Blindly going to take NFC plus one. The total for the Pro Bowl is sitting at 50 and a half. The Pro Bowl so, last year got weird. It, there was only 33 total points. I say it gets back to normal and, and crushes this over 50 and a half. Weren't the totals like like closer to 74, 80? Yeah, 80. it was going off the charts. And then I, I think there was, they like upped how much guys got paid. And then all of a sudden they were playing defense a little bit. But hammer that over at 50 and a half. You always take free points in the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl got Wilson, a lower total than the Super Bowl. Did, I, <laughs> have you remember? What kind of world are we living in? Yeah. Where the, it's really insane. But yeah. Uh, yeah, give me the over. Lock yeah. that up for I'll me. The over. Fifty. I'm going to the AFC I'll, I'm tease the AFC and the over. <laughs> That's actually go. not a bad tease. I go. would actually. You should probably take the NFC. Why actually? Well, because you've <laughs> given out plenty of bad teases on the show. I mean, I can bring up the records, but. Uh, I think you got to get it up to the key number of seven. So you want to take NFC plus one, yeah. tease that. Get it Why don't I got to play this in Orlando? I liked it better in Hawaii. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, I'm, Hawaii is fun. You get to see the, uh, I mean, you got to see Berman and a sweet ass Hawaiian shirt. I imagine like <laughs> Orlando's not an interesting yeah, destination. It's a I agree. horrible place to do this. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't live in Orlando. Are you for Airbnb in your uh, your no, I your? Mean, I, I, there's nothing. Orlando is everything wrong with Vegas and nothing right about Vegas. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's just lots of hotels, lots okay, of people, okay, lots of yeah, horrible okay. things to do <laughs> without awesome the like, gambling and cigarettes. They don't even have chicken on a stick in Orlando. Cocaine. Yeah, Colby, <sighs> we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing Super Bowl week the entire next week. Yeah, we're gonna make Colby pick props on the college experience. Yeah, because oh, yeah. there's always a little bit of like col uh, crossover props with college basketball. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any? Do you have any early leans, early bets, early props for the Super Bowl? Uh, I can tell you, I like. Oh, I mean, I'm just you gonna go heads or tails. Let's go. I'm gonna no, go. Season. I'm gonna go tails. Gatorade will be red or clear, or uh, I'm, the I'm, field. I'm going. Uh, I'm going uh, clear. That's the favorite. Yep. That's the favorite. Can't be red because both teams are red. They could say, you know, superstitious. Uh, you know what I mean? Do we uh, do we have a lean on the national anthem? Probably over. You just got to keep going over. Demi Lovato yeah. seems like she's yeah. going to make it all about her. And I'm a I'm a heads uh, better, and uh, <laughs> it's been it's been a bad run for heads. Do we have puppy bowl odds? Oh my God! Don't bring that I'm, up. 2014. Was Colby around for that? That uh. Oh yeah, the Puppy Bowl debacle. The inside Iggy. 
<laughs> where we <laughs> supposedly got inside information on the puppy bowl. We that lost was way too much money on the puppy bowl. Completely wrong. <laughs> Now's your year to win it back. <laughs> we bet on a team with a three-legged dog. That was the same. No, we bet against, against, against the three-legged three dog. dog. The yeah. three-legged yeah, no, no, dog. Sorry. sorry, yes. We bet against the three-legged dog. They, that three-legged dog got MVP, most valuable pup. But it ended up working out sweet because I had Patriots to win by exactly between uh, three and seven points. Yeah, that was the Falcons. And then that went into OT. Kyle Shanahan collapsed. <laughs> it was so awesome. I mean, uh, I'm, we Sean had come over early so we could record the pregame show. And I'm inside. He's out in the garage, and I, I just hear him screaming at the TV <laughs> while he, he's watching the puppy. God, ball. no! <laughs> I mean, we didn't even watch the we end. We got to get odds on that. It's got to be out, right? Puppy Bowl? Come on. Yeah. Let's make some money. Uh, will a Epstein didn't kill himself sign be shown? Yes. During on the, the Super internet. Bowl? Not, not, Dur not, not during, on TV. During the Super Bowl. Plus, only plus 350 on yes, minus 600 on no. Hmm. That's that, Those are strange odds. A little too strange. Will the winner attend the Super Bowl? Or will the will the Super Bowl winner attend the White House? No. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, Bosa? Bosa oh yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say someone yes. had a, someone yeah. had a great tweet. They're like, you yeah. can't keep Nick Bosa away from that Super Bowl uh, <laughs> from that White House appearance. <laughs> yeah. uh, what else we got? No puppy bowl, huh? Player to leave and not return due to concussion. Plus mm. one fifty on the yes. Um. How many women will be claiming to be sleeping with Jimmy Garoppolo during Super Bowl week? Ooh, over under one, one plus one hundred on the over. I like the over there. Kira Mia, the uh, porn star, he went out on a date with, and she says they slept together, but uh, I I can't confirm that. She said uh, she said she was the reason why he has been playing so well. Will Trump tweet to support either team prior to the Super Bowl? It's tough because he only. He really has a love affair with uh, the Patriots and uh, Belichick, <laughs> but the fact that like Bosa was an outspoken supporter of him, mm, yeah. I think he could be swayed by that. Will he make? He congratulated Bosa when he got drafted. Will he make any statements towards the uh, the Forty Niners uh, potentially killing some terrorists? I'm well, going all in on Trump. Number of tweets during day of Super Bowl for Trump is at 13 and a half. Wow. That's, that seems like a really Things have number. really changed cuz I remember the like first five and a half. The yeah. first Trump uh, tweet line was set uh, for Super Bowl. I think it was like four and a half or five. Yeah. And uh wow, things have really things have really changed. Will, <laughs> ratcheted up. Will D Ford line up offsides? Oh my Ooh. god. Plus 250, yes. So, uh Sean, we're going to be doing a lot of episodes talking about all of these props. All the props. He explain was offsides in the AFC Championship. E explain to yeah, everyone that's what, they, that, that's what they're doing the right there. That, that's why. No, not it. not two years ago. I mean, I'm talking the about Patriots. No, I'm talking about last week. Last he was week. too. Yeah. So that means there's two in a row. All right. No. What are we doing next week, Sean? Tell We're everyone. doing Super Bowl week. Guess picks, props, parlays. We got it all. I think the plan is to do a DFS episode, a uh, like Chiefs preview episode, mm -hmm. a 49ers preview mm. episode, and then our final picks and props episode. So aiming to do a four, uh, four episodes. Going to get some fans to call in, some experts, some yahoos. Uh, Super Bowl week is coming. It's upon us. It's right around the corner. What so we got an over under on uh, sandwiches Andy Reid's had this month. <laughs> He's supposedly on a diet, but uh, that's clearly bullshit. Not not buying that one. Will the loser of the Super Bowl make the playoffs next year? No, plus three hundred. Hmm. That's exactly what I cashed on the Rams. I think they will to miss the playoffs this I think year. They will. Uh, last one. Will OJ Simpson attend the game? Yes, is plus <laughs> seven fifty. He lives, he lives in Vegas. There's no way they're yeah. letting him inside that building. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> it's Miami. I OJ guess, might I guess be there. what can they do to stop him? You don't think OJ could talk his way onto the field at the Super Bowl? <laughs> I guarantee you, OJ. Uh, you think OJ <laughs> could like get away with something? All over again, right? <laughs> yeah, not only can he talk his way in, he'll get away with it. 
talking about. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. We said it all. Again, Colby, where can people uh, subscribe to uh, the College Experience feed? Uh, Type in – well, you can find it everywhere. You can go to – CollegeExperiencePodcast.com. You can just Google the College Experience Podcast. Whatever platform you use, people messaging me saying, I don't have iTunes. It doesn't matter. Just type the College Experience on all those platforms. You'll find it. Subscribe and – Get a glass of whiskey, sit back, and enjoy. There you go. I, you know, I it's some it's really endearing sometimes where the bar is. <laughs> oh, and uh, quick other little uh, Which sidebar. Bar? Sidebar. <laughs> sidebar. Before we get out of here, uh, listener, a big fan of the mm. show, Michelle reached out. Ooh. She's doing a uh, Super Michael. Bowl. Surely you met Michael. No, oh, Michelle. It's Michelle. <laughs> She uh, reached out. She's doing a uh, fundraiser for her friend who has breast cancer. Oh, it's like a yes. Super Bowl thing. Uh, you donate $10 or more, and then you answer a couple Super Bowl questions. You can actually win a prize while donating. So we'll put a link to that in uh, sportsgamblingpodcast.com. So nice. That's uh, nice of her. Good luck for uh, for the fundraising there. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. At Kramer Centric on Instagram. Kramer. Let it right.